Hi guys, welcome to Monetize. Today I'm going to share something from my own experience which I've learned over the years. When I started trading a few years ago, I was overwhelmed with all sorts of indicators, the technical analysis, chart patterns, candlestick patterns, trend lines, what if and what not. Trust me guys, what differentiates a successful trader from unsuccessful traders is the simplicity in the analysis. Guys, less is more in trading. Keep it simple. Check this video till the end to know the important support and resistance levels on the chart for DXY, Gold, Crude Oil and Nifty. Only two things are required to make money. Number one, the price action itself. Number two, the levels of support and resistance. That's it. And if you want to know, if you want to learn the same method of technical analysis in the most effective and simple way, do check my trading courses on my website www.monetize.in the link is given below if you like the work do support my channel subscribe and like my videos so let's hit the charts now it's time to record the charts and start our technical analysis as usual we are on dxy and beginning with weekly time frame what I've done here, I've just marked the important areas of support and resistance. The upper line is an important level now, is an important level and it, this is around 96.05, 96.10. It's always a zone, not a particular price point, what I want to mention. So why it's an important area of support or resistance? Because we have seen multiple reactions at this point in the past and in the recent past so this is now a super important area the thing is price is getting some <coughs> indecisiveness since past three weeks and the major reason i want to show you for this indecisiveness in the market is fundamental if you go to my website which is www.monetize.n and if you check the weekly blog section i am uploading the text version of the weekly preview on my website every saturday or sunday so just look at the events the upcoming events the major one is fed fund rate and fmc press conference so the entire entire monetary system of the us is controlled by fed funds rate the central bank of the us and people are awaiting for the fed's decision major decision so that's the reason we have so much indecisiveness in the market now this as per the weekly we still do not have any signs against the bulls All good on MACD histogram and time to check on the daily now on the daily now this level it's acting as support right now and what I'm anticipating because it has not made a new high in the recent past in the last two three weeks this one is still below the falling trend line number one number two if we check on the lower time frame especially if you go to one hour so what happened we got a higher high formation on the chart but a bearish divergence on MACD histogram then we got a break of this support this is the price action i'm referring to so what happens whenever we have a bearish divergence followed by convergence we expect the price to go bearish that's the reason i'm expecting if this thing continues and this is the major support level now and this level this blue box it's marked as per the weekly chart so once it breaks below we can see some downward price action 
and what are the important levels to look for going back to daily and from the swing low to the recent swing high I have taken the Feb retracement tool so if a pullback comes we can look for 96.15 94.08 to run up 94.10 this area this is the area of major support so it can be a temporary pullback and then continuation higher scenario number one scenario number two if it manages to break above this fallen trend line then we can expect a direct movement towards the higher levels towards 97 98 all the levels are mentioned in the text format if you want to refer you can refer it on my website go to the blog section the weekly preview and you will find all the levels it's time to move on to the next instrument which is gold now as i have shown you the indecisiveness in dxy since past three weeks a similar situation is on gold now it's consolidating in a tight range and this area this is the area of crucial support let me show you on the weekly chart as we marked resistance on dxy similarly this is the area of support for gold multiple touch points in the recent past so this line this horizontal line is an important support area for gold and it has a confluence of support from this rising trend line so this area is really really important support area and as we expect once the dxy breaks the support level it will go lower and help gold to rise up that's the reason i'm expecting a bullish price action from this zone let's check what's going on on the lower time frame the daily is still sideways we do not have anything concrete let's check on the four hour yeah the only one thing which i can refer to on the daily chart is this is going to be hidden bullish formation hidden bullish means a continuation in the bullish direction even if you refer from the previous point this low we have equal lows a double bottom type of scenario and we have lower lows on the MACD histogram so again it's a sort of hidden bullish formation so that's second reason why I'm expecting a bullish price action from this area so what are the probabilities the probability is it can reach this level and then come down or it may push to the next level which is around 1850 1860 this is the most important resistance zone which is 1830 1830 has uh, acted as a resistance in the recent past multiple times and what are the levels to look for on the lower time frame let's check on the four hourly chart for early the major major area is 1806 1808 so if it manages 
a bullish action it has to break above 1806 1808 pull back into this area and then continuation towards 1830 probability number one probability number two if it breaks this support this area of support then expected to go lower lower till the next area of support which is this around 1725 1722 if it happens to break the support okay guys and do you need to check do you want me to check on one hour let's do one hour we have some early signs of bullish price action number one is bullish divergence and followed by convergence so how's it going this was the divergence convergence a pullback got it so these are the levels and this is the pattern forming on one hour Seventeen eighty six. Now the next one is around seventeen ninety two. Once seventeen ninety two is broken, it should rush towards eighteen hundred, eighteen zero six, eighteen zero eight area. Once eighteen zero six, eighteen zero eight is broken, then we should see the next level at eighteen three zero. It's time to move on to the next instrument now, which is USD WTI crude oil. Moving to weekly, I've already marked my levels. Last week was bullish after a series of bearish price action continuously for six weeks. It turned around and it was already mentioned in my previous blog if you have seen it. It turned around for the corrective price action and what I'm expecting, I'm expecting it to reach the area of resistance this area which is around 75 level 75.5 75 and then continue lower in case if it wants to continue lower let's check what's happening on the daily So far so good, everything is bullish. This is the first resistance. And this resistance is at 73 area, 73.05. Once it breaks above 7305, pull back on the lower time frame and then we can look for continuation towards 75 it will be more clear if we zoom into 4 hour first push pull back third fourth and now the fifth one this is how the pattern is forming and in validation of this bullish idea will be the break of this support so if it breaks below then the bullish view will be invalidated all right guys this area if you know the if you want to know the levels 
70.5 so 70.5 is the crucial support 73.05 is the immediate resistance to be conquered once 73.05 is broken we can see the movement till 75 76 area if 70.5 is broken then we can see the lower levels which are around 66.4 66 so i hope it's clear what's going on WTI crude oil moving quickly to the next one which is nifty nifty made a rebound it rebounded sharply from this area which is around 16800 now, I've mentioned several times in my previous blogs and videos, I won't be considering a bullish view. Reason for that is, I want to show you on the daily. We have a falling trend line. The pattern is bearish and it's still below the major resistance area so all these points are giving me a hint of bearish price action coming in the days and how my bearish view will be invalidated if and only if it breaks if it breaks above this falling trend line and this area of resistance make a successful retest and then continue higher so if this price action is seen on the charts then my bearish view will be invalidated otherwise i have a view as per the technical charts it's nothing to do with my personal view as just as per the formation on the charts Either it may touch this resistance, the falling trend line and fall directly or it may break above and it can be a false break. It may fall and back below the price line and this falling trend line and continue lower. And this price zone is from 17600 to 17. 750 let's check what's going on on lower time frame on the four hour on the four hour i see some divergence building up bearish divergence price made a higher high reached very near to the resistance zone and the falling trend line resistance and now the macd histogram are shrinking downwards so it's getting bearish a confirmation break below this area will push the price immediately lower so I need a break above 17750 a valid break valid break means it should break above hold it on the retest this area as support and then continuation higher so that's it guys this is my view for this week related to DXY, gold, crude oil and nifty. Hope these levels help you in your weekly trading. Alright guys, good luck for your trading. Bye-bye.